Good morning, and welcome to Dr. K's Thoughts of the Day. My time on Facebook has been memorable. Met a lot of old high school friends. Met a lot of people that I went to high school with and never knew. Became friends with them now. Brings back memories, though, like when I was on the school newspaper staff. My junior year, we did a big article in the school newspaper on drunk driving. And we started a sad chapter there, Students Against Driving Drunk. And we made sure that students had a safe ride home on prom night and graduation ride at night if they had too much to drink. Provided students with a safe way to get drunk. Everybody was singing our praises. We got all sorts of publicity. The following year, my senior year, we did a big report on teen pregnancy. Included was a birth control chart. Listed each form of birth control, except abstinence. The percentage of effectiveness, the pros and cons of each one of them. Showing kids a safe way to have sex. That offended some people. On the line that had the condom, this sophomore we had, I won't mention his name, he's a Facebook friend, but this sophomore we had listed the condom, it's, it's a percentage of effectiveness, and one of the cons of it was it might damage the sensitivity of the penis. And people were offended because we used the word penis. Personally, I think the word damage was more offensive. It was, because it was misleading. It made you think, when you say damage, you think of something permanent or at least long term. Made it sound like you wouldn't even have any sensitivity after you took the condom off. I read that and I said, well, shoot, I'm not going to have sex till I'm married. Because I don't want to worry about whether a girl's on the pill and I don't want no condom damaging my penis. So, what happened was my high school journalism teacher, who taught high school journalism for 15 years, 10 of them at Putnam City West, my high school, was reassigned after that. She became a 7th grade English teacher at Hefner Junior High. She uh, sued the school system and they settled out of court three years late, less than three years later. First Amendment grounds. So let me get this straight. We got all this praise for the drunk driving issue but we got all this criticism for the teen pregnancy issue so according to this culture it is okay for a teenager to go out and get drunk as long as he doesn't have sex which from a twisted value standpoint that makes sense because if a guy is going to go out and get drunk and not have sex he has no reason to get his girlfriend drunk so she can provide him with a safe ride home. That's the only logic I can see behind that. Twisted values. Like a few years ago when former President Bill Clinton got all of this praise for fighting childhood obesity. This is the McDonald's president, remember? You know, the fast food, junk food president. You know, the one that when he went through Texas, every campaign stop was in a town that had Dairy Queen. That president led the battle against child obesity by getting soda machines taken out of the public schools. Now mind you, 10 years earlier you had teenagers giving each other blowjobs because the president said that it was not really sex. But thank God they're not having a Diet Coke with their lunch now. Twisted values. Thank you for watching Dr. K's Thoughts for the day.